Madam Minister, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Commissioner, dear colleagues, when we started preparing our various drafts for today's resolution, we did not know yet the conclusions of the, your council meeting that took place Monday. Nevertheless, when you compare even the initial texts and the text of the council conclusion, you will see remarkable parallels uh, in our various approaches. Uh, we do, of course, very much regret uh, the announcements made by the Israeli government of uh, how building 3,000 extra housing units and further developing the plans in area E1, uh, which, if ever implemented, would uh, effectively make a contiguous state of Palestine uh, territorially uh, impossible. We do regret the decision to uh, withhold uh, taxes, especially both of these decisions have, and announcements have come days after the uh, vote in the General Assembly of the United Nations. And it, it seems to us that by these announcements, actually, the Israeli government is undermining the legitimacy of Mahmoud Abbas. And by ricochet, such an undermining of his legitimacy can only reinforce the status of Hamas, which from the point of view of Israel is kind of a paradoxical attitude. Uh, we have welcomed, and I do welcome, uh, the conclusions, as I said, of the Council of Ministers, and I believe that uh, the High Representative and her team have played uh, an important role, a discrete one, an important role in coming to these conclusions. We should not forget that these conclusions have been approved by unanimously by all the 27 member states. And this is something that the Israeli government should carefully ponder and consider as they should carefully analyze the vote that intervened in the United Nations General Assembly. It is significant, as my colleague Galler said, that only one single EU member state chose the side of Israel, so to say, and the other ones either approved the Palestinian bids or abstained. If, Israel, if the government of Israel continues to act as they do, they might end up completely isolated, and that would be a pity because it will make the search for a lasting solution ever more difficult. Thank you.